What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Carl Weichel and I'm really, really, really excited to have you in this video. This is a master class on producing high converting landing pages. We have been working with the UDI for quite a long time and helping them fine tune their pages, fine tune their funnel. And also we built completely new product page, landing pages, home page, collection page, and we're rolling that out as we speak. The UDI is one of the biggest and fastest growing D2C brands. You probably have seen Davy Fogarty before and are familiar with the brand, right? If not, you need to check it out. It's really, really great to take some examples from them and also check out how they run their media buying, their acquisition, the pages, obviously, and then also the retention, how they build this amazing brand. Again, it's one of the biggest D2C brands worldwide and they did over nine figures in sales. So what I'm doing with this video is we built the product pages, completely right, redesigned it, and I did a breakdown of exactly how we did that, right? I'm showing all of the pages, all of the sections, and then explaining exactly our process behind it, the psychology behind it, and then also what kind of came into it. The mindset, the research, the breakdown, and then also the next steps that you have to do to really get your brand to the next level. So watch this video, take some actionable steps from this, some value, and let me know how you liked it in the comments below. So let's get right into it. This is how we build high converting product pages for nine figure brands. Really excited to take you through all of this again. I will also link the document in the description and pin it as a comment. And I've also linked uh, our website and then also again the breakdown on YouTube with the whole video and me explaining everything. This is the whole case study of how we redesigned the complete product page for the UDI, right? I will also drop a case study soon on how we built new landing pages for them, new home page, new collection pages, and basically optimized every single page of the funnel so it's completely dialed in. And again, for all of those who are not familiar with the UDI, it's a nine-figure D2C brand. It's one of the biggest and fastest growing D2C brands worldwide. So, quick background to this. What I found was whenever I looked through YouTube and Googled around, there are a lot of guides on how to build landing pages, how to build product pages, all of these swipe files and everything. But none of them really have case studies, right? So there's somebody that's sitting down and say, hey, let me let me create a swipe file for landing pages that look good or product pages that look good. But the thing is that when you do that, you don't really have the data, right? You don't know what's going on, how they're converting, the revenue that is going through them and all of that. Maybe they just look fancy or they are well designed, but then they don't really work, right? And if you find case studies, they usually are for smaller brands. So what I thought was, why not sit down and explain how to really build high converting pages that convert at scale? So for example, pages that are where nine figures in revenue is going through. And I mean, that's a lot of volume. That's a lot of traffic to these pages. So they are really tested at maximum capacity. Before I go into that, I obviously want to give credits to our amazing design team, the conversion team that we had on the case, and then also the internal team from the UDI. We have been working uh, together on this whole project to make all of this work. And obviously it's more than one person or just me on a case like this. It's, it's a huge project. So we can really make sure that everything is dialed in. Every single design piece, every single word, every the whole concept of the page, everything needs to be dialed in to be converting really well. So before we get into that, I just want to spend some time talking about my background and kind of the proof so that you know that the information you're going to see in this video over the next 45 to 60 minutes is really valuable and you can listen to that. Obviously, you can make up your mind yourself. This is just for me to kind of introduce myself to you so you can make the decision yourself if you want to listen to me and if you actually want to apply this information again, I highly suggest you do because um, I'm not doing this type of videos for fun and I'll explain it in a second too. So for me, my name is Karl Weischer. I'm the founder of Accelerated. It's a CRO and growth partner for eight-figure D2C brands. We are working with a lot of the biggest and fastest growing D2C brands worldwide. And we exclusively work with eight figure brands. So basically all of these brands come to us because they want to scale more profitably and aggressively. So what we do is we work on the funnels, we work on the pages and we run a lot of split tests and new campaigns. So we can bump up their conversions and bump up the average order value. And finally, 
make their marketing efforts more profitable, right? So we have done this for the Udi, for Vessi, Kino Body, Primer Harvest, Kulibri Skincare, Sassy Classy, All Fragrances, Drippy Amsterdam, Oliver Cabell, PHC Beauty, and a lot of other really, really big brands across all of the niches, right? We can see fashion brands here, shoe, fitness, supplements, skincare, perfumes, jewelry, and all of that, right? So in all of the different niches. And we did all of this working with all of these big brands, scale the agency and get all of these results in a really, really short time span. So what happened was we got invited to be keynote speaker and share our strategies at a lot of the leading marketing events. So for example, the Giga Dubai from Nick Shacker for what you can see here, or the Vitao Life event in the Oxford University down here from Ian Nagy and the team at Inceptly, or the ESS Mastermind in New York and Miami, Kinsa 360 in Dubai, the AdWord, Finest Audience Mastermind, the Contra in Düsseldorf, and a lot of other events. And we basically talk a lot about our strategies and how we are able to pull all of this off and do conversion rate optimization for these big brands, right? And my sole goal with this video and also with the YouTube channel is that I can help you get to eight figures so that then we can work together, right? So I need to make sure that all of this information is really valuable and really actionable for you so that you can apply it and that you are able to scale your brand. And the last thing that I want to talk about before we get started is everything in this video is based on my experience and what was working for us, right? I'm not saying that this is the only way that you can go because there are a lot of ways to get to your goal, right? And there are a lot of ways to become successful with your store, with scaling a brand, with running landing pages and everything. I'm just sharing what worked for us, right? So, yeah. That was the introduction, let's get started. This is our nine figure framework. First of all, I want to talk about what has to happen before building the page, right? Because some of the people have the misconception that you are just jumping right into it, start building the page and then push it live, test it and see how it works. But not, that's not the case. You need to have a really, really great project management for all of that and it all starts with the pre-building research and preparation. So let's talk about the mindset for a second. For me, it's really important that you understand that it's a lot about following the basic frameworks and there are no shortcuts to the success of running a successful campaign, a successful landing page or a successful funnel. And there's also no new fancy shiny object syndrome, uh, shiny object or whatsoever that big brands are following, right? It's not like they found something crazy new that they are doing completely different than anybody else. They are just amazingly performing the basics and the fundamentals of what you have to do. And I want to talk about that for a second. So what you have to do is you have to understand the foundations and how you can implement them correctly. So if you look at the funnel, if you look at your brand and if you look at the pages, it always comes down to creating an irresistible offer, building trust and motivation, and then also removing anxiety and objections. And these are the three foundations to creating a high converting landing page, a high converting storefront, right? And also what's really, really important, you need to find a differentiator. What you can do is I explained it in depth in this case study where we worked together with this client with Akash and last year he went from zero to eight figures in his first year of launching the brand and we kind of helped him scale on the complete journey and this is a beautiful case study. This is a 20 minute breakdown where we talk a lot about finding a differentiator, right? And differentiator is really, really, really important. And what you can also be doing for that, if you, if you want to build a product page, a landing page, a funnel that you want to convert, right? You can take winning creatives or win, winning angles that work in your marketing because then you have the congruency throughout the customer journey, right? So this is everything for the mindset. It's really about understanding the basic frameworks and the basic principles and then applying them at a really, really high level. Next thing, understanding customers. Before you start building anything, you need to get an in-depth understanding of your prospects and also of your main value proposition because this is the whole basis for persuasive copywriting and design. If I would be to record videos on copywriting research, design research, and all of this, right, same with the, the basics, foundations, all of these would be videos by themselves that would be multiple hours long. 
I will do that in the future and also link that. I just want to give you the bird's eye view understanding of kind of the process that you need to follow, right? And then over time, I will also create longer videos that really break down the standard operating procedures for that. So we have the copywriting research and then we have the design research. And then based on this research together with the understanding of your target audience, your prospects and your customers, then you start building the product page. So let's talk about copywriting research. Here's usually how you want to do it. You want to conduct customer survey, you want to reach out through feedback, and you also want to go through your customer service responses and social media. You want to go to the reviews, to the DMs you're getting, comments under your ads, and all of that, right? So you want to get your hands on every single aspect where your customer or your prospect is communicating with you, right? And you want to put all of that together into a spreadsheet. And then what you can do, for example, is you can start analyzing for common words, for common stories that they use, analogies and expressions. So the idea of that is, is that you, let's say, for example, you put together 20,000 pieces of copy, right, that your customers wrote and some feedback. And then you can get a great understanding of common stuff that they say, common words that they use and everything. And what I like to do then is I like to cluster these with our PMBD framework. What I mean by that is you want to understand their pain points, their motives, their beliefs, and their desires. And then based on that, you can also put that into your value proposition, into the product benefits, and into the offer copy, right? And then it will resonate more with your prospects. Because if you use the language of your prospects, it will more resonate with them, obviously, right? Because we are directly speaking to their deepest pains and their deepest desires and emotions, right? And that's how we can get to uh, convert more customers at scale. Second, design research. Here's some stuff that we like to do. And again, I have to do other videos to just going through this. This is like our long input. I just want to give you the birds of view. You want to use a tool like Hotjar or Microsoft Clarity so you can get visual data of how users are interacting with your website. Right? Because then you see kind of how they click, how they scroll, where they spend time, which sections they just scroll by and how they interact with the page. And then also the customer journey in the funnel and in the pages. And now what you want to do is you want to make your design and your page stand out from your competition and base it on your unique brand identity. This is also what a lot of dropshippers do. They move from the standard dropshipping. I'm using a debut theme that's just black and white and some like colors to a really branded approach, right? Because this is also a great differentiator. And then the design is, is more a way of appealing to the prospect and then supporting a frictionless shopping experience, right? So design is used to convey certain emotions, convey certain messages, and simplify points you want to get across. And then you want to have a certain vibe and a certain impression. That's what design is used for, right? Design is not used to just have a fancy store or whatever or over complicate stuff. It's more kind of giving the vibe, giving the emotion, and then supporting the prospect in buying and understanding information easily. So let's get to the juice now, the product page breakdown. Um, what I will do too is I will scroll to the whole product page in desktop and mobile view and then break down each of the sections. So let me open up these product pages right now. And then afterwards I will break down all of these sections. So this is the product page in desktop view. So I'm gonna just scroll through it so that you can see the whole product page in action and kind of what it looks like and have an overview before I break down the different sections and jump into this, all right? So this is the desktop view and here's the end. And now let me scroll through it in the mobile view too, so that you can see this too. Yes. Dun, dun. This is what it looks like in mobile. Sweet. Now you've seen it and now let me get back to the document. So product page breakdown. You've just seen the whole product page in action and now I will break down the different sections, kind of what you need to include in these sections and then also the psychology and the ideas behind it. So first of all, the hero section. The hero section is the first screen that they see without scrolling. 
And this is the make or break of your whole page because here the prospect is deciding if they want to stay on the page and spend their valued time and valued energy or not, right? So we need to include all of the important information here without our prospects needing to scroll, right? And I will go through this now what you want to include. You want to make a great first impression by including all of these essentials. You want to have a positive tone in the announcement bar to set the tone and get the first impression, right? And then what you want to do is you want to have high quality product images that show the product in use with happy customers. It's really important to show happy customers that are smiling, for example, while they're using your product so that people understand the emotions. Because we as people, is, uh, we have these mirroring neurons, that's what they're called in the brain, and whenever we see other people, subconsciously we understand the emotion that they're conveying with their face. So if you have a product picture and your model is looking something like this, then we as the prospect, when we see the model on the picture, swiping through it on our phone, we get this bad emotion, right? Because our brain is mirroring that and understanding that uh, intuitively. So you always want to show happy customers. And then what we like to do is have three to five product benefits that resonate with the prospect. That's what you can see down here. These are the main product benefits that I'm talking about right now. And then great offer with urgency. So for example, in this case, we have a $35 discount and we also have the option to pay in installments, what you can see here. So we have this badge saying you save $35. So we also make it really easy for the prospect to understand how much they are saving. And then also we say pay in four interest-free installments of $18.20 with after pay or shop pay, right? So even for the people for who $74 is more money, we make it easy or we make it look smaller because then they're able to pay in installments, for example. And then what we also always want to focus on is increasing our average order value. And a great way to do that is with exclusive bundle offers, what you can see here. So for example, you can buy two UDIs at once to save $80. And what we do by that is we give the prospect an exclusive bundle offer, right? That's not available anywhere else. And also it's with the idea of bumping up your average order value. And having a high average order value in the front end in your e-commerce brand is really, really important because the higher your AOV with a good margin, the more you're able to spend on acquiring customers at scale, right? Because then you can outspend your competition if you have a higher average order value and conversion rate like them. And then you can also have a higher break even, uh, lower break even worse and higher CPA that you're able to spend, right? So that's really, really important that you make a great offer there and also get them to buy more of your products or buy a bundle. Then what we always do is you want to have trust building elements like reviews, store benefits and payment providers. Reviews you can see at top here, store benefits you can see here and payment providers you can see here. These elements build trust to your prospect and trust is really, really important because we are not going to buy from somebody if we don't trust them, right? So these elements are really great to establish this trusted customer. The reviews are social proof, right? That other people already bought the product and said it's a great product. The store benefits are great just to convey the benefits and establish the trust when people buy from you. So for example, this is like one size fits all, 30 day free returns and free shipping. It basically makes buying this product a no brainer because let's say you can buy it for $74 today you don't pay for shipping and you could return it for free for 30 days. So you basically don't have a risk of buying the product if you, even if you then don't like it or whatever case. And then payment providers, everyone is familiar with these icons, with Visa, with MasterCard, PayPal, Apple Pay, and we already trust each, these huge brands. So if you place these brands on your page, the trust kind of goes over to your brand, right? Then what you want, attention grabbing call to action. So in this case, we have the orange button that's standing out from the whole page. And then what you want to do is you also want to future pace happy emotions, right? So that's what we do. And you can see this a lot on this page. So if you look at this, you can see it in the face, right, of the model. You can see it here in these small little icons with like the uh, happy bunny and the happy icon there. And yeah, this is, this is like a really small minor detail, right? But we already future paced them 
on the happy emotions that they're going to have when they buy the product and when the product arrives at home. And then what we do, and that's the last thing here in the hero section, is we have the drop down menus to condense the information. So we don't want you to just bombard them with a whole product description, but we want you to put it into these drop downs so that they can decide uh, where to click on. All right, so that's everything for the hero section. Let's jump into the product description. Product description includes social proof, removes anxiety, talks about benefits, future paces them on a good emotion, and then it's also easy digestible. That's what you can see here. So let's break this down. Loved by over 1 million Udi fans across the globe. See our five-star reviews below. This is the social proof that I'm talking about. 100% satisfaction guarantee and 30-day no hassle returns. This completely removes the anxiety and takes the objection of um, what may be going through the mind is, hey, what if I don't like the product? What, what if I want to send it back? What happens then? All right. So we remove the anxiety on these objections. And then lovingly crafted from the best, most cuddly soft materials. Every Udi is made from toasty warm Sherpa fleece on the inside and buttery soft toasty tech flannel fleece on the outside. You will feel like you are hugging a thousand adorable puck puppies. And this is from the internal copyright from the Udi team and this is fucking amazing. So let me break this down for you. What he's doing here is um, he's playing with different words that you already have an emotion and a feeling attached to. So for example, cuddly soft, toasty warm and buttery soft. You know exactly the feelings uh, of those words, right? It's not like uh, we are saying uh, the Udi is comfortable, the Udi is great, right? The Udi is made from Sherpa fleece. Okay, great. But then the prospect has to think for himself like, okay, but what does it mean for me? How exactly does it feel, right? So if we are using these words to convey the emotion for the prospect, then it's way more easier for them because then you can automatically imagine what it will be like when you get the product and touch it, right? Because we know exactly what toasty warm or buttery soft feels like, right? Same with you will feel like you're hugging a thousand adorable pug puppies. You instantly have a picture in your mind imagining yourself with all of these little cute pug puppies, right? And you're like, uh, you have a good emotion then. And you know exactly how that feels and how nice the situation is. So this is also future pacing them again. Then free shipping and free gift wrapping bow included, right? How cool is that? We asked them the question so that they have to come up with the answer. Like, how cool is that? Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. I didn't even know that. Fully machine washable, warm fade or pill, we promise. And then the Udi is your new bestie. You will never want to take it off. It's perfect for chilling on a couch, spending a night with your friends or watching a movie. Again, we are future pacing them. The Udi is your new bestie. You're going to love this product and you never want to take it off. Right? So this is an amazingly well-written product description and this is what you want to include into it. And then around it a bit input, you want to break it down, for example, into bullet points and really easy digestible sentences. So you can see that we only have one longer sentence here and the rest is in like smaller, easy to read bullet points. So let's talk about product benefits. In this case, for this product page, we have four sections that break down the product and explain the benefits. So let's look at these together. First one, differentiator. You want to clear any doubt in the mind of the prospect that they may find another option. So you want to include your USPs and you want to make it easy to understand that your product is better. And that's what you can see here. So we have a normal hoodie compared to the competition and then compared to the UDI to the product that they're looking at right now. And then you can see this. So let's zoom into this. What makes us different? Five reasons why over 3.5 million people love the UDI. And then again, we name the main product benefits. Free shipping, free extended 60 day, no hassle returns for all Australian orders. 100% satisfaction guarantee. Only highest quality materials used, right? Added extra length, right? Extra comfortable. Cover more of your legs. 100% cruelty free. The UD is 10% longer and 100, more, 100 times more fun than the competition, right? So this is a really, really great section because this compares your product automatically to the competition and tells your prospect that they, they, they don't have to go on Google, they don't have to go on Amazon to compare your product because it's not comparable, 
right? So it's really, really easy, uh, really, really important that you find great differentiators and unique selling propositions for your product. Secondly, value proposition. You want to create a compelling value proposition that resonates with your prospect. Again, with all of the uh, sections that I'm going through right now, you can see that you need to do the copywriting research and the design research before starting with any of this, because otherwise you're just not going to know how, which product benefits do I need to name? How do I need to design it? How do I need to convey it? What value proposition does my prospect want to hear so that they're going to buy, right? So with the value proposition, we are focusing on the comfort and on the feeling of the product, right? And we also name certain activities because people already associate the positive emotions with the activities named down here. And then what we do is we, we use these to establish the emotional connection with the product. And you're going to hear me talk about emotions a lot because emotions are what makes people buy. Only after they bought and after the purchase, they're going to rationalize with reasons why they bought the product. But the purchase always happens emotionally driven. And that's why, why I'm so obsessed with psychology and also so obsessed with creating a strong emotional connection between the product, uh, between the prospect and your product. So what you can see here, do you love being warm? The Udi is like a giant colorful hug. Again, you can instantly imagine what it feels like getting a nice hug, right? And then we say summer camping trips, frosty cold mornings, watching the movie with friends, evening naps. And you have certain emotions with these activities, right? Watching movies with friends, you are happy, you're in a great situation and you spend time with your friends and that's where you can wear the product, right? So this is a really great section that you definitely need to use. Product materials. Here we have two more sections, right? Our product materials, future pacing. Here we touch on the materials that are being used to craft the UDI to really make it unique. So you, was, you want to use analogies and storytelling again to evoke a certain feeling and emotion in your prospect. You can see again, you really need to do the research before starting to write so you understand what's important for your prospect. So what you can see here, lovingly crafted from the best, most cuddly soft, oh, one sec, most cuddly soft materials. Every UDI is made from, again, you, we had this copywriting and the product description, right? So we just have a section for this again to put focus on that. Because, and this is what you can see, for example, in the hot jar recordings or whatsoever. Sometimes people don't necessarily read the product description, but they just scroll through. And we really want to convey this, this important benefit, right? And this description, because it's like so well written and it's really going to push them over to becoming a buyer. So we again use this section. And this is also what I'm uh, talking about is that once you find certain benefits and the, the main reason why people are buying in a great value proposition and great elements, you want to use that everywhere, right? You just want to remind your prospect again and again and again on why your product is so amazing. And if you're able to resonate with your, pro uh, with your prospect based on the research that you did beforehand, and then you can use it everywhere. You can use it in your winning creatives, you can use it on your landing pages, in your funnels, in the email marketing, then you're really going to crush, right? And then the last section here is the future pacing. So I touched on this earlier in the hero section. You want to future pace your prospects on the idea that buying this product makes them comfortable and happy. So what you can see here is the UDI is your new bestie. And again, we also had this in the product description earlier, right? You remember too. But then again, uh, what we did here with these two sections is we include the images of, for example, the whole happy family that's wearing it or you with your friends. And this is a really great example of how you can use design and pictures to get across, to convey these emotions and really get across the most important information to your prospect. And that's what you can see here in these sections. Because if you, if you compare this to the description, right, we have the same text here, right, the same exact copywriting. But then if we have a section like this where we completely design it, we add an image, we add different, gra uh, different graphics, and we also add certain colors to highlight certain words, 
then it's way easier to grasp for the prospect. So that's actually what you want to focus on. And this is how you want to use design. So you want to use it to simplify stuff and put attention to certain messages you want to convey. So those are the main sections where we talk about the product and break it down, all right? Now let's talk about the sections that are also really important, building trust. And what you can see too, and that's why I put so much emphasis on it before we started talking about the product page, you need to focus on the foundations and you need to perform them at a really, really great execution level. So building trust, a great section that you can have is featured reviews. Everybody has these regular reviews, but we want, what we want to use is featured reviews. So what we do here, for example, is we showcase different bias personas so that people can relate to the reviews. So for example, we find out what are the three or five most common target audience or bias, right? In terms of their age, their gender, their uh, skin color, their appearance, everything, right? Just so we make sure that your prospect can really easily identify with your existing customers. And that's what we did here, right? Yeah, then featured UGC. This section is focused on creating a sense of belonging and community feeling, pretty similar to the review section. So what we do is we play with feelings that they are familiar with. So for example, marshmallow like softness to make it easy to grasp and understand the product benefits. And then what we do here is we include, for example, TikTok videos, UGC pieces of people wearing the product. And this is also a really great thing that you can do is not only work with images, but also, again, use the best performing creatives, the best performing content pieces from your social media to show it again, just so people can look at the videos, right? And then reviews, last section, pretty self-explanatory, right? It's a review section. We always want to include something like that. And then what we have is the guarantee section. This section is designed to take any objections or anxiety that your prospect has. So we want to give them a sense of security and also an ease while shopping. You want to make it risk-free to buy the product. Because if they are down here and you saw in the earlier in the video that it's the bottom before the footer, right? If they're down there and they still have any objections or anxiety, we completely want to take that. So what we have is a 100% money back guarantee. 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. 30 day, no has returns. We, we believe you love UD, just like our 3.5 million plus happy customers. In case you aren't satisfied, our returns are easy and 100% free. And then again, we have a call to action to get your cuts. So these are the main sections that we use to really build trust to the prospect. So let's talk about the next important point. You want to increase your AOV with framing and bundling, right? It's not only about giving them upsets, giving them cross sets and selling bundles. It's also about how you frame it, right? Because the framing and the copywriting around upselling them or getting them to take a bundle is really, really important that they actually go for it. Again, I touched on this earlier. A high AOV is really, really important. So you're able to spend more on acquiring customers and that you're more profitable in the front end. So what we do is throughout the page, we already frame people on buying multiple products. And I will show this to you in a second here because this is happening really, really subtle. So we, for example, always include images of four people, like the whole family, wearing the UDI at the same time, or you with your friends, like again, four different people wearing it, right? And that's what we use throughout the page. So we also already subtly frame them on that they should buy more products so they can wear it with their friends and family. And then what we do, and this is nothing completely new, right? We have a slider with the most frequently bought together products to increase the likeliness of the prospect going for it. So for example, if we're selling the gray UDI, which you could saw at the top, then what you want to do is you want to analyze in the back end what this is a most commonly bought together with, right? And then you want to dynamically have the cross sales and the upsells um, based on this research. Right? Because then you have the highest likeliness of your prospects going for it. So then we have this section just talking about other people, um, about other products that other people bought. Right? And then what you could see at the top, that's why I scroll to it here, is the grab two of these, right? Exclusive offer, exclusive bundle that they can get and they can save a lot of money. So this is really, really important. So not only make sure that you have 
great bundling, great upsets and sections like this, but also to frame them throughout the copywriting on the page that they need to get multiple products and why it makes sense to go for a bundle, for example. Then what we have is call to action. We kind of treated this like a landing page and we included multiple call to actions and we also included a sticky at the cart button so the prospect has it easy to click without scrolling. And this increases also the likeliness of them taking an action, right? Because if I always tell them, hey, get your cuddles, add to cart, uh, look for a great product, right? I always ask them to take an action so that we increase the likeliness of that. And with having multiple call to actions and also a sticky call to action button, this is always on top of their mind, right? And they don't need to scroll a bunch just to have the, the action available, right? So this is basically the whole breakdown of the product section with all of the important uh, product page with all of the important sections and basically how to build these sections and how to use them. Now let's talk about how can you stay cutting edge? You need to split test and consistently run new campaigns for all of your important pages because only with that you stay cutting edge. You, you're probably familiar with creative fatigue, right? The same fatigue happens to pages and funnels over an extended period of time. And that's why you need to consistently fine tune the page and test new copy, new UX, UI design, new offers, new sections, new bundles, new product description, new headline, new everything, right? Because you want to continuously stay cutting edge because over time, otherwise the market develops, they are testing new stuff and you're going to be left behind and you're already pull putting so much focus and effort on consistently testing new creatives, iterating them, testing new angles, new messaging. So you should be doing the same stuff on your product page. It's never at the point where you just have one page and that's going to work forever, right? Even if this product page is working really well for them right now, we are still consistently going to fine tune it and find different ideas based on the research that we're doing, right? Again, for A-B testing and how to run the whole CRO campaign, I will drop another video and explain it in depth. Same with the research part. This is, they're also going to be other videos by themselves because they're going to take a lot of time. I just want to get you the awareness that you need to be doing this. Basically, the process for split testing and iterating looks like this. First of all, you want to do research, so understand winning creatives, customer feedback, hot jar, customer surveys, analytics, and all of the data. And then based on all of this research, you want to come up with ideas to fine tune the pages and testing new stuff like new offers. And then what you want to do is you don't want to straight away implement that. You want to split test that and those ideas. And then only if it's successful, you want to implement it. Same with when you test new creators, right? You don't instantly put like 20, 30 K of ad spend behind it. You slowly test it to see how it works. And if it's performing really well, then you put the ad spend behind it. So that's what we do with the pages. We want to split test. And then only if we see that it's working really well, then we really roll it out to all of the pages and all of the users. So it's not enough to just build a landing page once and then focus on ads or retention. So in order to differentiate yourself from the competition and staying ahead of the market, you consistently need to test and iterate. So concluding all of this and conversion workflow and understanding is elementary to be able to build these high converting landing pages, product pages and everything. You want to find a key differentiator to your competition to really stand out, right? And to not be comparable and only business owners that keep iterating are winning. If you look at the S and P 500, if you look at the DAX, if you look at all of these big indexes, what you can see the trend over time is that the, for example, the biggest 500 companies only stayed there for a certain amount of time and then they're being replaced. So over certain time spans, time spans, they're completely being replaced, right? And you don't want that to happen to you. So you don't want to get comfortable just because you found like a winning product page and a winning angle, because then you're slowly running into fatigue and then it's not going to work anymore. And your competition was always iterating, testing new stuff and completely overtaking you, right? You don't want that to happen. So if you want me to help you, you can book a call with me. Please have your credit card ready and also bring all of the decision makers. So this is really efficient. You can just click here. I linked the call, the Canon Lee booking and 
really important for me to say this is not a shortcut. And this is only for really high seven figures a year brands with high growth potential or only relevant for eight figure brands, right? This is not a shortcut. This is not something where you're a six, seven figure brand and you can just like call us and we're going to fix everything for you. This is only relevant for eight figure brands to really apply to work with us, right? Again, this is what I, why I'm doing these videos for you. This is why I'm breaking everything down, all of the strategy, all of our ideas behind it and the psychology so you can do it yourself, right? And then you can scale to eight figures yourself. So next steps for you after watching this video. You want to understand and apply the foundations that I've been talking about earlier. And then you also want to do customer research and analyze your data to get an understanding of the psychology of your target audience and why they buy, all right? And once you've done all of this and you build new product pages, you build a new landing page and you found a good framework that works, you then want to iterate it with A-B testing. Again, I'm going to drop a whole nother video on A-B testing and then also link it. And what's really important is you always want to have a holistic view on the funnel. So you want to start with angles and hyperfund creatives onto the customer journey on the website and then also the retention. You need congruency before, between the first touch point, the ad, the second touch point, the landing page, your funnel, and then also the email marketing that you send out and then until the product gets to the customer. And then also again, the messages that are being sent out. You always want to view all of this holistically and have a really, really holistic approach to how you run stuff, right? You need the congruency, it's super, super important. Then apply all of this, scale to eight figures with a high conversion rate, high AOV and great margins. And then you can DM me. We will fly to Miami together and smoke cigars because you're putting money now. Here I include a picture of me and Sebastian, good friend of mine, uh, last month in Miami where we've been doing exactly that. And yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments or reach out to me on Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, or Instagram, wherever. And I will make sure to cover those questions in the DMs or I'll drop a whole nother video. So yeah, talk to you soon and see you.